Hello guys, my name is Lokesh Mahajan and I am a certified Azure administrator with 3 years of experience in Azure. Recently I have completed AZ104 Azure administrator exam and I have various other Azure certifications. So before we begin, let's take a look at the topics that we are going to cover in this video. So topics to be covered are introduction to cloud. What are different services of cloud? Different types of cloud. Azure Fundamentals Azure Services Azure Security Then we will give a brief comparison between Azure versus AWS versus Google Cloud. So let's begin. So before going to Azure or Cloud, any other cloud, let's understand why we need the cloud. Okay, so before cloud, if a person wants to host a website, he would require a server, then a team to manage those servers and to manage the network traffic. So the disadvantages for these things are first of all the server cost, uh, then troubleshooting the problems, the troubleshooting the networking problems and other problems and also the storage problem. So there as the website generates a lots of data we have to increase the storage which on on-prem servers are not possible. So to resolve all these problems we have cloud. So what is cloud? So as you can see in this presentation, in simplest term, cloud computing means storing and accessing data and programs over the internet instead of using your computer hard drive. We can understand this by giving this simple example like your system is the local system. It has a local server. Okay, So you can't store all the data on your system. So we just move all the data to cloud which has unlimited space. Why they have unlimited space? Because they have their own data centers somewhere around other places and that is used to store all our data. So now we will understand what are the different services provided by cloud. So cloud, basically cloud provides three types of services. Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. So what are these services? Let's take a look in it. Infrastructure as a service, as the name suggests, it contains all the virtual platforms like all the hardwares, your OS systems, operating systems and other services including your storage, databases. These all types of services are included in infrastructure as a service. Then we have platforms as a service. What it includes? It includes your Windows, your Mac, your Linux operating system, the programming language that you are working on like Java, Python, J2EE and other applications. All these applications are deployed in platform as a service. And then we have software as a service. Mostly it includes all the CRM, EPR, email and other softwares. So this slide shows different types of cloud. So we have three types of cloud. First is private cloud. Then we have public cloud and we have an hybrid cloud. So as the name suggests, it's pretty clear that public cloud is a cloud where we all have the access. Private cloud is a cloud where it contains limited access, limited to an office or a workspace. And hybrid cloud is a mixture of private cloud and a public cloud. There are different companies that provide a us cloud services. Some of them are given here. Google Cloud Platform, Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services known as AWS, IBM Cloud, Digital Clouds and there are many more. The list goes on. So let's get start with Azure. What is Azure? At its course, Azure is a public cloud computing platform with solutions including infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service that can be used for service such as analytics, virtual computing, storage, networking and much more. It can also be used to replace or supplement your on-prem services. So it contains basically everything from your virtual machines to storage devices, from scripting to programming. Everything is included in Azure. But do you, then you have one question in your mind. How does this Azure works? Because it contains everything. Then how it works? So 
Once a customer subscribes to Azure, then they have access to all its services included in the Azure portal. Subscribers can use these services to create cloud-based resources such as virtual machines, databases, etc. We will give you an example by showing how it works in our later videos. But for now, this is the definition for the Azure, how it works. These are some of the services provided by Azure. There are many more, but these are some of the basic services that we are put together in this screen. First is virtual machine. So virtual machine is nothing but providing a Linux or Windows virtual machine. Then we have app services. Create powerful cloud apps with web and mobile. It provides SQL databases and there are many more databases that are provided by Azure. It contains storage. Then it have cloud services, Azure Cosmo DVs, Azure Active Directories, which contains all the security features and we can take backup for everything. Our next slide shows what are Azure securities. So Azure security is nothing, but it provides various features which will protect our data which and these data is taken care by Microsoft. Some of features of Azure Securities are Azure Security Center where you can directly call what is the issue if you fail face, uh, face any. Then we have application gateway build secure scalable high available web frontends in Azure. Then we have Azure Di Active Directory which is used to synchronize all your data securities passwords etc. Then we pro then we have Azure DDoS protection, which protects us from denial of services. Then we have Key Vault and Azure Information Protection. So now we have come up to a slide that why we should choose Azure and why not AWS or Google Cloud. So as you can see in this slide, we have divided AWS, Microsoft, Azure and Google in three different sections with all their strengths and weaknesses. And by comparing them, we can see that Microsoft Azure contains the second largest provider. It is integration with Microsoft tools and software. We can easily work on them. It, it provides a hybrid crowd with broad feature set and supports open source business. But there are some weaknesses for Azure also, which is issue with documentation and incomplete management tooling. Azure is still in progress and we can see much more features that are soon provided by it. So if you have come this far, you can see in this slide, this is the, this is the current job trend for 2017 you can see that Azure jobs are continuously growing and in 2021 this graphs goes up only. So we have high, uh, this Azure is high in demand and you should learn it. Thank you everyone for your support. We will meet you in next video where we will deeply focus on Azure different tools and services and then we will provide you how to practically use all the services. Thank you for now.